Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you a match for on K4 Shrine between Kitan in green and Elliot N in blue. Kitan is going for Grekum, while Elliot N further back here is going for Grekum as well. So it's a Grekum versus Grekum map, and it is going to be or Grekum versus Grekum match, not map. The map itself is actually designed to be pretty balanced for every race, but the match is going to be Grekum versus Grekum, which is not surprising. It's very popular races. So, both players are starting out pretty slowly, both going for pause start, trying to go for a perfect start. And it looks like both players are also going for the... Oh no, actually, yes, both players are going for the Arcticus move towards center. It looks like Elliot N is going further towards the center than... Hey, Elliot N is going right into the center, actually. Or, no, beyond that, he's going right to the other side of the map. So, Elliot N is going cross map, while Kitan is hardly moving in at all. And... For their economies, it doesn't look like they've started building up yet, but they do have a triad up, so both players have their triads up. And here we have Guy Kitan is making his Octos, basic Octos for RPs, two of them for RPs, two of them for just scouting. While Elliot N is doing similarly, except all of them are for RPs. So Elliot N's going to have a slightly stronger economy early on, while Kitan is going for a bit more of a rush or scouting strategy. However, Kitan is also going to be able to just go back and change all this, so it's not as big of a deal. Actually, Kitan, I think, is probably making the better choice because he is able to see what's going on. However, both of his Octos are going to the top left, top right corner up here. And looks like both players have hit the present, so now they aren't really building much except for what we're seeing now. I'm just going to fast forward to catch up with them. So both players, like I said, are building economy. Kitan is going a bit heavier for economy than Elliot N, but Elliot N has gone from earlier Q Plasma, so Elliot is going more for tech, while Kitan is probably going for more of a rush strategy with all the LC. And as we've seen historically, rush strategies tend to work a bit better, but we'll see what happens because it seems that there's a lot of power in super weapons recently, and those require a lot of tech and quite powerful. And it looks like, oh wow, Kitan has just missed the Arcticus, I think. I can't go tell, but it looks like Kitan has missed the Arcticus coming in, so Kitan doesn't realize that. Elliot N is sending his Arcticus all the way over to the other side of the map yet. While well, Kitan's sending in two Octus to the other side of the map, it doesn't look like he's actually building anything with him, he's just sending them along to scout out. So that's really interesting. And Elliot N has an early reef, very early reef, about 2 minutes 32 seconds, while Kitan is continuing to build a lot of economy, and he's finally got a Seppi up, so he's going to have a reef as well fairly quickly. It doesn't look like either player has upgraded anything right now, but they probably will be doing more stuff for that soon. And here we have a Reef coming in for Kitan, or will be coming in for Kitan. Kitan is actually going further back in the past. Elliot N is getting, auto, or is getting advanced structures right now. While Kitan has gone further in the past, doesn't look like he's actually doing anything. Oh, here we are. He is changing around. Looks like he's changing around his... Is he changing around Scout Hunter? No, he's not. He's not actually changing anything much. He did do something back here, but it doesn't look like anything really big. So, from what I can tell, there's not much going on for... Kitan in the past. Elliot N has jumped back as well. He's double checking this attack here. He's got his Arctic over here. And here we are. Here's the change. So I thought that was a scout or a change. So it looks like Kitan has sent all his Octos up to Elliot N's base to attack him, harass him slightly. Elliot N is finishing up his reef. He has two more Octos coming in, both of them rushing down to Kitan's base directly. Kitan has much stronger economy. However, he's going to be much more able to build defense forces if need be. And Elliot and with much weaker economy, and Arcticus sending over here, so his command structure is a bit out at this point. He doesn't have as much to command with, though neither player is really using hierarchies very much at this point. So, right now, Elliot N has gone back a bit further than the past. His attack... He is noticing he's getting very heavily attacked by these Octos. They're damaging Sparrow very heavily. He has no other defense forces right now. Advanced structure is building up, but it's not going to be doing much good if Sparrow is dead. So, Elliot has now changed around. He's built Octos earlier on, and instead of building that... Well, he built the Faro, but he also built the Octos. He doesn't seem to be getting... He's got any advanced structures later than he would have otherwise. And the Octos have come in, are dealing a lot of damage to his Octos. His Octos, one of them is walking away. Both of his Octos are walking away, actually. Not doing too much. He's gone further back in the past to try to change this up. He's using a fair amount of his chrono energy to try to change this up and fix this up. The Octos are coming back even earlier now, though. Kitan has continued to go back and change how early these Octos are coming in while he's comfortably playing further in the future. And Elliot N has... Try on a Q-Plasm, actually, given what he's used. He really should have gotten more Liquid Crystal, because Kitan, as you can see, Kitan has a lot of Liquid Crystal. He's going, doing quite well for his resources. He can spend a lot of them. While Elliot N has built a lot of Q-Plasma, and it's not going to be doing him much good right now. So, right now, he is going to be having a very hard time dealing with this. There's a lot of Octos coming in, dealing a lot of damage. Kitan has a much 
better economy, much better situation for him. So I'm not sure how Elliot's going to be able to get out of this. He's going back further and further into the past. Both players are just pushing themselves back as far back into the past as they can go. And right now the Octos are coming back. So it looks like Kitan is holding back in the attack. But Elliot has gone more for Octos. He can't. He can actually send them off. He has enough chrono energy to send them off. But right now Kitan is more focused on getting what he can with what he has, and he hasn't done anything yet. Looks like he's actually aborted the attack entirely. It's become an echo attack. While... Actually, it's hard to tell. It looks like he's still... He's flipping around. He's He's gone back. Instead of making an echo attack, he's gone back around again, and he's attacking up while Kitan... Elliot ends further back in the past. He's going to have a hard time dealing with this, though. He's hardly any chrono energy. He has no chrono energy left to deal with this, or not, not enough to deal with it, anyway. Sending his Autos back. He really could, could use that Arcticus right about now. That's still floating over to the other side of the map, but... He doesn't have it right now, so he can't use Hierarchy, so he really has to rely on having higher Chrono Energy to actually order these units around, so he can't be quite as responsive, unfortunately. He's also getting a little Eagle Class. And right now, I point out that Elliot N going heavily for tech, but I don't know if it's really going to benefit him. What he really needs to get right now, in order to actually get out of this, is enough units to fend off these Octos. Because he is getting a lot of resources, but he doesn't have a Spire yet. He doesn't have well, he's a fair amount of resources. He's getting a lot of tech. He doesn't have a Spire, though. He doesn't have anything. He's not making use of the research he's gotten. While... Kitan has quite a bit in the way of units. He has advanced structures coming up as well. Lulu class and advanced structures is done right now for Elliot N, who's actually a minute up from here. While Kitan is a minute down from, or about five seconds down, he's caught up to here. He's kept some boxes around to try to harass, double check what's going on. But really, he's more focused on his economy. He has more now than Elliot N. He doesn't have as much in the way of tech, but he can't, none of them can really use that much tech. And okay, so here we have now weaponry being upgraded. And this is going to be very powerful. Nukes are becoming very powerful in the Akron metagame. So this is going to be an incredibly powerful move. And I'm kind of surprised though, here we see Elliot N is trying to get a Progen Octopod, but he doesn't have any Firepods or Sepipods to Progen with. So he does have the legal class, but he doesn't have the Spire he needs, he doesn't have the Faro he needs. And Kitan has jumped back here. He doesn't look like he's actually done too much. He would have used up a lot of Chrono Energy to do that. And Elliot N is double checking to make sure that nothing fishy is going on. Kitan, when he is, does not have anything other than weaponry. He does have weaponry though, and that's going to be very dangerous. Right now, he doesn't seem to have sent... He has actually... Never mind. He has sent off... He has sent off a super weapon. Just going to double check when this happens. Because he sends... He's going to be sending off a Plasma Cruise Missile very soon. Here we are. So the Plasma Cruise Missile has just jumped back in time. So here we are. The Plasma Cruise Missile is attacking. And it will be hitting very hard. So that's... The Plasma Cruise Missile has dealt a lot of damage. Destroyed two of the RPs. Three of the RPs have lived, though. A bunch of the RPs were behind. Far enough away from the blast to live. But Elliot has been heavily damaged from here. However, he was prepared somewhat, so he will be able to last, hopefully. He has his Arcticus on the other side of the map. If he really needs to, he doesn't have enough resources. He has enough resources, actually, right now, if he wants to take care of that. He does have... Let's see, back when he is, he has a Spire. He doesn't have much else, though. He's trying to go back and try to... Or, Kitan's actually gone back try to double-check what he can do, change around a bit of his actions. Sending his... Whoa, he sent the Plasma Crystal... Crap! He sent the Crystal Crystal back even further. So now, it's attacking very quickly. We can't see it, though, because we have to wait for a time. We have to come show it. But once that happens, oh my goodness. So let's just review this. We have a Plasma Cruise Missile Chrono Porting in from a bit further. And just going to double check where I can find it. Here we are. So the Plasma Cruise Missile has just Chrono Ported in and has hit. So now more RPs are destroyed. So the Triad's still alive this time around. But a bunch of RPs have been destroyed. So Elliot has lost almost an entire economy. Another Plasma Cruise Missile coming down from two reefs. Because I pointed out, should point out, Kitan has two reefs right now. Both of them have fired off the Plasma Cruise Missile. Or three reefs, actually. Two of them have fired off Plasma Cruise Missiles. And... That's dealt a huge blow to Elliot N right now. So Elliot N is doing very poorly right now. He's got two Plasma Cruise Missiles that have hit him. He's been dealt a lot of damage. He still has a Triad. He has a fair amount of resources that are in his reserves, but he doesn't really have much beyond those reserved resources. And he really needs to start building up. I'm surprised this Arcticus is all the way out here. I, he really should drop that and use it. It's a bit desperate, but he could use it to build a Faro and a Sepi just to make another Triad over on the other side of the map because Kitan is probably not expecting that. He does... However, know that he's dealt a lot of damage. And this red time wave could very well bring even more damage. I kind of doubt it. And double check. No, the red time wave is not. So what we've seen is the final revision. So back to when we were. So Elliot N has managed to rebuild someone. He's getting more RPs. He's got... He has a pod class triad coming... Yes, a pod class duo coming in. Seppi Liku coming in as well. And a far pod coming from Kitan. So Kitan has been building up. Of course, Kitan has been building up all this tech during this time. He had a bunch of time to build up domes, build up spires, he had advanced structures for a long time, he has weaponry, and he has no other upgrades right now, he's not researching them either. When he is, which is about a minute up from here, he has no upgrades as well, both players are really pushing the edge of the chrono energy 
both playing as far back in the past as possible, but it looks like Kitan's going to be able to get ahead from here. Kitan has not as much in the way of resources, but he does have a lot more in the way of economy, and he also has his command structure readily available so he can use his chrono energy more efficiently, where Elliot End does not have an Arcticus readily available, and he does not have the ability to get rid of this. He is, however, a minute down. He's going to try to do what he can, but I don't know what he has. He has no resources. He has nothing to set himself up to get out of this. He does have his Arcticus, and that's about it, but he hasn't used that as much as he could, and he's running out of chrono energy, so I think that's going to be a pretty solid, pretty set game right here, so I think that's going to be GG. Should be up pretty soon. So... That was very interesting to use it. So, <laughs> Elliot and I just double checking in the past to see if there's anything he can do. But right now, it looks like Elliot and really just suffered from losing the Arcticus that he ran out of Chrono Energy very quickly. He really didn't have much to do with it. And he cannot build much at all. He has run out completely. That nuke was very powerful. And admittedly, that is something that has been found to be very powerful in the metagame. But even still, his Arcticus running away, that, that, I'm not sure exactly what the motivation is behind that. It's. Obviously you want to protect the command structure, but you also want to use the command structure because you do need to save Chrono Energy because if you don't, you end up running out and can't save yourself in the past or anything. So yeah, Elliot N had a bit less economy, a bit less tech. He was going for a bit more of an old style strategy where you build mostly fast tech, while Kitan's going for the new style strategy of going heavy economy to rush then to tech, which is far more effective as we've seen just now. So thank you for watching and have a good night everyone.